sitting at the front door waiting for the mail lady to get here and bring me the shrimp super excited hello hello everybody and right here we have my first new new carradine shrimp in almost six years let's open it up and see what we have and we have a sticker the shrimp from lj shrimp i'll put a link in, link in here later and show you guys all right it's hard to see what we've got here but these shrimp the first new news i've got in almost six years are called red riding hood neocaridina and what they are they're like a kind of like a red really or a bloody mary type of really i think they're more related to bloody marys by looking at them i've seen them before and instead of having the red butt and red head they just have the red head so it looks like they have a head little red riding hood super excited let's get the process going to get these started but first <laughs> there's a lot of stuff that went into getting these ready so let me show you that What's up? So first thing i do is go underneath the house <laughs> and reinforce the floor <laughs> that was a trick in itself here is my wife recording me getting out i didn't even know she was doing it but we had to reinforce the floor underneath the new rack because my house is not on a slab. And so I had to go underneath there and do that. Lots of fun. Look at this. Ow. My shoulder. Ow. Not real fun with a with torn rotator cuff. I've actually done this when I was 50 pounds heavier than I am now. That was a trick. So now we got the floor braced. We can fill the tanks up with water finally. Now we got enough water in there. Let's fire it up. First time they're all going to be alive. It's alive. It's alive. <laughs> and we're going to finish filling them all the way up. So this is the part where I take a dirty sponge filter from a healthy established tank and squeeze into these new tanks, actually two different sponges, one big sponge for each tank. And this is where I screw up pretty bad. This part doesn't go smooth. Even though I checked and checked and checked this sponge filter for shrimp. Well, as soon as I started squeezing on it, little tiny baby shrimp started coming out of the pores. So we're doing a voiceover on this part because I was saying some not real nice things about now. Oh, so that was the fun part that didn't go quite as smooth. The wife even helped me. We spent hours and hours just looking and looking for baby shrimp. And we eventually got them all and we didn't find any more. And here we are a couple of days later after we made sure all the baby shrimp were out. I planted up the tanks. Some of you may remember I got a whole bunch of stem plants from the father fish. And the ones that were starting to do good in my water, I put a couple, I put three stems in each of the new tanks. See if we can propagate some new stem plants. And then I put five or six guppies in each tank just to keep the cycle going. And it only ended up being three or four days because now here we are four days later and we're putting shrimp in the first tank. Here's a nice closer look at them. So actually, I did not even buy these. I traded these. I traded Laura at LJ Shrimp. I traded her 10 snowballs and 10 reds for 20 of these guys. So I'm super excited. Now let's start getting them acclimated. So we have an airline. I have an air in there to keep anything getting sucked up. Started a siphon. And then here, that's just an airline control valve. Fine tuned it to where we're getting drip, 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 steady drip. And we're going to keep on doing it until the TDS is even out. So we're a little over two hours in. 
there was a big difference in TDS. So I'm going nice and slow and taking my time. So you may be asking, what made you want to get these shrimp for your first new ones? Well, look at them. They're pretty cool. Very unique. Really is without the butt. I think they're really cool. And is that they're actually a line and they breed true? I figured they were just like really coals. I remember when Laura first told me, but well, here they are. They're a real line. I had to have them. All right. We have got the water super close. It's ended up being like five or six hours that we were acclimating them. So this is the way I like to do it. I have to pour all the contents of their container through a net. And then there's always a few that get left behind. They have a little bit of water in here. And we got them all, but we'll check again later. All right. Here's the big release. My first new new Caridina shrimp in like six years. Come on. Come on. Some little ones in there. Alrighty. Alright, so there is the first tank. We've got shrimp in it. Looking forward to seeing how these guys do for me. The shrimp for this tank have already been ordered. This shrimp for this tank have already been ordered. And I know what I'm going to get in this tank, but I'm just not sure from where. So, stick around and see what other shrimp I get in here. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.